Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. The liars of America want to steal your goods, take your body, and be in charge as if they're God. The liars of America are never thinking what they look like to their family and friends. But we also know that there are liars who are parents who beat their children to no end. The liars of America actually violate God's plans for the spirit of a child. They do that through emotional abuse, they do that for psychological abuse, they do that for spiritual abuse, and they do that in sexual abuse. A child that's grossly overweight is often a child that has been immorally reared on one hand or sexually abused on the other. They're trying to make themselves less appealing to an illegal or immoral father or mother or the abuser's life force. They might also be trying to pad themselves against physical abuse by comforting themselves with the misuse of food. A child that is starving itself to lose weight is not always healthy, but it is a fasting way for the Lord's house to do things like that. But at some point the mind starts to turn, and when it starts to turn because of the lack of vitamins, the lack of healthy nutrition, there's a problem in every way. Parents like to say they want to feed their kids the good stuff. Well, good for you. But to the people hearing it, they hear an immoral and immature parent. I've heard that said to me once or twice, and while I understood the implication, I felt it was out of place. A child that is encouraged like I was to try foreign foods is welcome in the world today because we live in an internationalized global economy that is becoming smaller and smaller in every way with the advent of COVID. But we have a problem today. Our federal government is spending way too much money on services and on health care than it should. We are obviously printing dollars at the federal government level, which they technically have the lawful right to do. But then we have other types of things like Bitcoin that is impeding people's wealth in some way and exceeding and increasing people's wealth in another way. The question is, is that commodity really lawful and legal and can it legally be utilized as money in America when we don't typically allow that, that the only money of America that is lawful is the U.S. dollar? outside of credit cards, of course, would represent the human dollar. But openly I'm asking questions that are based on laws that I learned in second grade, third grade, fourth grade, during a time when education was simpler, less complicated. Today our education for children is not appropriate to the world today. Our opportunities in college are not streamlining students into the right careers and the right opportunities in any way. Many students that are not college-bound should be funneled immediately into farming and manufacturing today because, no offense, but that is where our wealth as America comes in every way. The liars of America want to teach esoteric subjects like women's studies and trans studies and all this other shit, which is great, but it provides no living for that child in any way. The liars of America want to piss on men's rights while touting women's rights and no offense, but I have very rarely seen a woman succeed without a man or a partner of some kind in her life. There are people that do that. There is a Japanese heir to the Japan Airlines who absolutely is in charge, or was at the time I was there, of that airlines because her father had passed and she was the eldest child and the only child, I believe. And openly then she became the boss of everything. But the truth is, in America, we have rights. And our rights are being aborted by the people who are supposed to support the issues of rights. They destroy our American flag by adding colors to it, as if the red, white, and blue that we've always known across America and around the world isn't good enough for me or for you. The liar of America wants to put a blue line on it, wants to put a red line on it, wants to put a green line on it, wants to put a pink line on it. Give me a fucking break. We have lost many, many lives through the history and heritage of time to know that civil rights, freedom rings, and we don't need other colors to let us know what the red, white, and blue means in the world today. America is the leading superpower of the day based on our newscasts that are improper in every way. And openly, we have to watch BBC News to get any fucking information on the rest of the world, unless you're watching U.S. World Tonight. But 
I can't say that we're learning about what's going on in Ghana and other places around the world in our classrooms or any way because they don't have a significant impact on our future or of the day. America Inc. is where our life needs to be faced. When I piss all over the retail industry, I piss all over children who never learn the retail rules of life. That you are representing a multi-billion dollar business, motherfucker, in your 10 to $12 an hour job, and you piss on consumer rights with your immoral, improper, immature behavior. Fucking step up to the job. You are representing millions of dollars of negotiated sales <clears throat> with the manufacturers of America that feed us, clothe us, and maintain us and help us to transport ourselves across America. <clears throat>